The Crystal Ball Once upon a time, a witch lived in the forest with her three sons. One night... What is it? Hey, Sebastian, wake up. The same sounds that happen every new moon night. Hear them. They're coming from Mother's spell room. Come on, Aton. I'm too sleepy. Just go back to bed. But Aton had heard those sounds every new moon night for a long time now. Tonight, he was determined to find out what they were about. This is wrong. Mother! Oh, right and wrong. Needles and sticks. What does it matter? I shall control your body till I can grow my own back. And while I'm in command, you shall do exactly as you are told. Now you must drink the beauty of the princess. I won't. I won't. I still have some magic within me. I won't. You will. Mother, mother. How dare you? Uh, run, run. Go to the castle of the sun and get the crystal ball! Run! No! You cannot defeat her without the crystal ball! Go! Go where? <laughs> Sebastian, George, wake up! We have to get out of here! Now, Aton. Planning to go somewhere, my dears? Who, who are you? Run! Run! <sighs> ah, if you like birds so much, become an eagle and soar the sky. Your mother will never see you again. Goodbye. Water will save you, you think? Fine, within it, you shall forever swim. And that is how your mother and you will lose all link. Where are you imprisoned? In the castle of the sun. Mother! <gasps> Aton! Get away from here! I cannot leave you. Huh? Go to the castle of the sun. Find the crystal ball. That is the only way to free us. Now go! You are our only hope. I shall stall the witch with whatever little magic I have left. Go! Your brothers will be there too. You shall not hurt my son. Ah, how dare you! Aton escaped far into the wood. He was scared for his mother. He wanted to rescue the princess, but he had no idea where the castle of the sun was. I only hope to find the castle of the sun is to head towards the east, for that is where the sun rises. Aton walked for days and nights. Until one morning, he was awakened by a sound. <coughs> hey, watch where you're fighting. That boulder could have harmed me. He did it. All right. What's the fight about? 
You small men are smarter than us, so we hear. Is there anything that I can do for you? Well, we don't know who should get this cap, for both of us are equally strong. Will you decide for us? Really? You're fighting for a cap? Not just any cap. Do you know, when you wear it, you can go anywhere in the world in the blink of an eye. Really? Giants, I need a favor then. A big, big, gigantic favor. What is it? I need to reach the Castle of the Sun. And Aton told the giants everything about the witch and his mother and the princess. Will you let me have this? I shall return it to you, I promise. The Castle of the Sun and the Crystal Ball. Well, that is minded by an ox. A giant ox. <laughs> what is it? That horrible ox had once stolen the egg of my golden parrot that laid a golden egg. And he removed the gold and placed something in it. We don't know what it was, but it was made of crystal and it was in the shape of a ball. The crystal ball. Well, your enemy is there at the castle of the golden sun. Why don't you come with me? I could use the help. Oh, Okay. okay. So the giants held Aton, and Aton put on the magic cap. To the castle of the sun. To, to the, the thief, thief, the ox. This is the castle of the sun? My. Where do you think the ox is? There is only one way to find out. Ah, I knew it. It had to be the two of you. You've grown. How did you get here? He brought us here. We told him you were a nice fella. Really? <laughs> now, who are you and what do you want? I want the crystal ball and their parrot. <laughs> Here's the parrot, and your crystal ball is inside his golden egg. Mind you, if you touch it, you will burn. Come and get it. My, My parrot! The crystal ball. Ah, how dare you! Enough of you, you crazy bull. Behave or else I'll eat you up. Hey, help me. What are you giants for? Ah! You stay up here, my peachy weechy, and you go and help. What? Can't you see I've got the parrot? The egg. I will hold the golden egg in the water. That way we won't burn. the crystal ball but he won't find you alive the light cannot get me behind this mirror of darkness e enough of you Oh. 
Are you all right, princess? That was the the last of Mama my string. The light of the crystal ball had broken all the spells of the evil witch. George and Sebastian had regained their original forms. We must get home to Mother. Giant, where are the giants? He's, He's a jolly, jolly good, good fella. fella. He's, He's a jolly, jolly good, good fella. fella. Can we use the cap one last time to reach our mother? Of, of course. course. Mother, mother. She saved my life. Wasn't the witch's spell broken? Yes, but by that time, the princess had lost all her youth and her strength. She might have been alive had she not saved me. I don't know how to thank you, dear princess. The greatest magic is in genuine healing feelings like love, respect, and gratitude. The sincerity with which the brave Aton thanked the brave princess fueled the magic of the crystal ball, and lo, she came back to life and youth. Princess, you're all right. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> Aton, you have to decide. What? Who gets the cap? Ah, that. Well, since you are friends and since merely by holding hands, you can travel wherever you want together regardless of whose head the cap is on, I decide that both of you get to keep it in turns for a week each. How's that? So long, amigo. You keep this with you. If you rub it, we shall reach you wherever you are. Friends for life. <sighs> and so, with the witch gone, the three brothers lived happily with their mother. The princess was reunited with her family, and Aton was made a knight for his bravery. Eventually, he and the princess fell in love and got married. Well, as is the custom, they lived happily ever after.